Okay, uh, since I had no bio, my name is Brian Ruth. I work in embedded systems for Garmin. Um, so my talk's about uh, standard basic string uh, for more than just text. So I want you to think about, you know, back when you first were introduced to C++ and just kind of how you thought about things and selected the containers that you use. Um, the other subtitle is how to write code no one will understand. Um, given an arbitrary length list of bit states, modify the list by toggling the state of each bit. Now if you just start out, the basic choice is always going to be vector because you don't know how long the list of bits is going to be and always choose vector. And a bit can either be on or off, so bool is you know, the obvious representation for it. So that, that gives you something like this. Throw in a nice range four. And yeah, this, this should work, right? Well, mm, this is where you find out about vector of bool. Um, you go to compile it and you get an error like this. And it really doesn't tell you why vector of bool doesn't compile, that it's not a container, and that the things that it's returning aren't really bools, they're kind of things that pretend to be bools. But, okay. So, vector of bool aside, why do we choose vector? Why is that the default container, container type? Well, first of all, it's contiguous memory. So, it's easy to allocate, you can iterate through it easier, you can pass it to C functions. It also grows as needed, so if you don't need much memory, you can have it short. If you need more, you can make it longer, and then you can make it short again once you don't need it. And you also can get random access, so it actually plays well with C as well by having pointers to little different parts and you know, playing with the functions like that. So what other container has these properties? I think I kind of buried the lead with the title of it, but uh, standard basic string. Um, it, most people think of it just for character representation, but really it is a templated container that has all those properties. And it turns out, just change the type. It does exactly what you expect it to do. <laughs> but well, what about real types? I mean, Boolean, that's not much different than a, than a character, right? So bits have a direction. They're usually names so you know what the bits do. Um, and let's just modify our task because it doesn't make much sense to toggle input bits. So we just want to toggle output bits. Well, that works too. So, you know, class bit direction, you got a string in there for a name, a struct, you can throw it in there and it works almost exactly the same as a vector. But another thing that's kind of cool is when you use basic string, you also get to use the string API. So one of the things that I've done in the past is you, I generate timestamps based on a packet index. And then you want to aggregate those timestamps together and pass them to some C API to manipulate them in some way. So vector has a very cumbersome append syntax. So I couldn't find a way to make it not using ranges to not have a named temporary in order to append to a vector. And the slide also demonstrates where I fall on the const and auto side of things. Um, but as you go through, do the inserts, call to C, it works. Changing a vector to a string allows a more straightforward syntax that other languages are used to. So you can actually use the plus equals, you can call it to data, and it really performs just as well as the vector does. But can basic string actually be more performant than a vector? <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Vectors always need to call new and delete if you want to do anything with them. So you can see right here, just creating a vector of points, the size is obviously three, but even with optimizations turned on, you got calls to new and delete. Small string optimization happens even for types that aren't <laughs> strings. So here it sees right through the fact that there are three points, returns the size as three, compiles down the move as three. So it's like LLVM and Boost have tried to come up with like, you know, small vector optimizations. Well, string, you get it for free. So it's only the beginning of the interesting things that you can do with string. I didn't go into string views or substrings or any of the find and replace type operations. Uh, there's some really cool things you can do when you take basic string beyond text. But uh, I'm not advocating that we get rid of vector, but string's a lot more powerful than people get it crap for. 